Hello, this is Blue Heron Tarot. I'm gonna do a read for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aries and their person for this month. August and September, Virgo season, past life relationship. We're gonna call on your higher self to give us a clear guided message. You can get a personal read from me in the description box down below if you like. Getting to know each other, past life relationship. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, you've known each other before. What else is there here? Finances and career. Maybe you meet this person at work. Codependency. What? I was not getting that, Aries. I wasn't getting the codependency. But then I guess with the past life relationship, there is a little bit of that attachment, right? Kind of coming up to the surface to work through some codependencies some attachments. This person might have money problems as you reveal your inner... I think you guys are getting to know each other on a deeper level at the same time. Maybe you guys are getting to know each other be beyond the layers of codependency that maybe is what you've been used to in relationships and this, this relationship's here to help you break that. Or... Um, or you're seeing beyond the codependency in this relationship. So it could go either way. I just want one. I just want one for Aries. Aries. I'm going to take that. Okay, Aries. You're coming in as yourself. So you're seeing yourself in this person. So this has a strong mirror for you. Um, so very often if you perceive them in a particular kind of way you actually might be perceiving yourself this person might be mirroring out your energy a little bit so for example if you consider them to be kind of controlling you might want to look back at yourself and see areas in which you're controlling you know that's just one example whoa yeah i do feel like you're perceiving them they could be a capricorn but you might be perceiving them as somebody who is a bit smothering uh, or maybe they have that addict addictive qualities or they're somebody that, you know, is obsessed with you or you're obsessed with them. So I do think that there's a strong codependency and I do feel like they think you're jumping ship as well. Or they think that you need a new beginning. Like this needs to collapse, this, the energy. This is interesting. You're in an interesting energy, Aries, where you're like, I want what I want. They want a new beginning with you. They really do want to offer you like an offering. For some of you, wow, these reads are crazy. These reads are crazy. <laughs> what the hell? All right, I'm just going to start to clarify. It's. It looks like in the outcome... You want to come in and offer them love, and then they're stuck. They're, they're kind of like needing to change their perspective. I'm going to get some more, but then secretly they want a new beginning with you. And they've been offering you, they've been trying to offer you something, like an apology, or like they want to manifest something with you. Some of you might have gotten out of a really shitty situation, a real codependent situation, and you might not be ready for... This kind of energy, you just like kind of want to do what you want, but you do have love for them. Let's get a little bit more. This is so interesting. I think for some of you, I'm really getting that there was a strong relationship in the past for maybe both of you guys, and it was it was really destructive. It was really codependent. There might have been drugs involved or addictions, obsessions. And it needed to break, it needed to collapse. And um, either that same person's coming back to like kind of offer love or you wanna do that. But a lot of people, there's like a new person coming in that's past life as well. I feel like that's going to help walk you through, like kind of continue like the learning, I guess, about releasing attachments and addictions and obsessions. So you might like pick this up with another energy or with the same person again, but it's really to reveal more about yourself and programs that no longer serve you in love. Okay, this is crazy. I mean, some of you were married to this person. 
Um, you perceive them as very well off. Maybe this is a person, Aries, that focuses on their career a little bit too much. So they don't have as much to give as what you would want them to. And you want what you want. You want what you want. It's like kind of the energy I'm getting. Yeah, this person might keep their money to themselves. They might not be very good at sharing. Also, I don't think that they want to let you go above it. I, I don't think they want to let you go, Aries. Tell me if this resonates. This is kind of a little bit all over the place for me, honestly. The Knight of Cups in reverse. It's like you have love for them. You want to offer them love. You feel love for them. At the same time, you don't. It's very finicky. They, they want to hold on to you. They want to offer an apology. They... They want to offer you their, they're very attracted to you. They might want to be intimate with you again, or that's what they want. Um, shit. You feel like they really indulge in what they want. Um, I'm getting the energy that they are your wish fulfillment, but also you feel like I'm indulging if I follow this person. There's something about this person's energy is maybe it's too codependent. There might be some addictions. Maybe you end up like, you know, wasting your time on some level. I don't know. Like maybe drink too much with them, you know, kind of energy. And it's just sort of a waste of time. It's too indulgent for you. I don't know. This is really weird energy. Overbearing. You feel like they're overbearing. They think that they're better than everybody. They're kind of snobbery. Wow. Um, they see you as somebody legit. They see you as somebody that they can build a life with. Interesting. I mean, for some of you, take what resonates, but it's like the possibility of this person, I don't know if it's about love or it's like indulgent. Like they might have a lot of money. They can offer you like more comfort, I guess, or there's something shiny about them that keeps you kind of attracted to them and, and drawn to them. Cause you have like, you have like love for them, but at the same time you don't. Um, and then they are very possessive towards you. So it's like, there's a lot of codependent possessive energy. I feel like there's money involved or there might be like some addictions involved. Um, and it feels really grounded and really stable on some certain constructs. Like you guys both feel really embraced by the codependency, but I feel like you guys both perceive each other as the devil. So it's almost like you are each other's devil that you know, you have forgotten the one who doesn't care about ownership, who doesn't try to turn profit from every human exchange. It's like, you guys, like, this might be that past relationship, but you guys feel, like, comfort in the fact that you own each other, you possess each other, and you've kind of bondaged each other, put each other in, like, <sighs> wow. I mean, it's almost like some of you guys are married, or you could be married. It's so comfortable. It's so indulgent, but it's codependent. It's controlling even. And I think at times it feels like a uh, part of you, Aries, feels like you're not getting what... I don't know. There's a little part. Like, where, where, where am I seeing this? I don't know. Where did I see this? I don't even know anymore. Actually, I don't know. I'm just going to continue. Maybe with the Knight of Cups in reverse. I don't know. It's like... You guys are attracted to each other. You guys have each other, like, by the, you know, like, the grip. Both of you. Um, it's like the Chinese finger trap or whatever. You don't know what you want. You can't see straight. I mean, shit. Like, this... This is really interesting. For some of you, I'm getting that this could be a person you knew from your past and they're still in your energetic field, okay? So take what resonates. And it's like, it's still mysterious, this, this really dominant energy. Um, 
Queen of Cups, let your teacher be love itself. Yeah. Well, this energy is kind of revealing. Like, you are looking... There's something extremely not mysterious about this relationship. It's like very repetitive, patterned, addicted, indulgent, maybe wealthy. And there's a little part of you that's just like, I want something deeper. Um, I don't know. Some of you guys might be seeing a healer and getting way different kinds of downloads and information on this person. See, now the spiritual energy is coming in a little bit more for you guys. So they want to offer you more money. They want to offer you more of the same stability. They want to marry you or they want to stay married to you. Like they want this to continue and you want this to continue. What? This is the weirdest freaking reading. Take what resonates. Whoa. 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 All right. Wow. Okay. This person. There was a time where this relationship was built on addictions or attachments. It was very stably unstable. It was repetitive. And there was obsession and it was like really never love, but it was very passionate. Okay. And holding on, um, you know, you guys both like kept each other like in chains and unable to change and, un and you guys would like fill each other's voids and such. Okay. And then, you know, I don't know if there's a break or what, but it just looks like it's moving into more of like, this is your, in a weird sort of way, there's like this soulmate energy. And I see you kind of moving in and keeping silent and moving away from these attachments, yet seeing like that this person is your person. But there's like an unraveling. Like, I feel like Aries, you're learning to do what you want and maybe kind of, I don't see you moving away from... You guys are gonna have to help me out here. This is such a weird read. Like literally, it's like, in a way it's positive and in a way it's not. Like, um, well, there is no good or bad or right or wrong. It's just, it's not super, okay, there we have the three of swords. Okay, this is, this is cool. I kind of get it. Ace of Cups, okay. This person needs to learn to love themselves, okay? Aries, there's this energy I'm getting where they're becoming overbearing. It's like, you guys, this person, you guys were squeezing the fluffy bunny to death, right? The love, the quote unquote love, obsession, attachment was so strong that you guys squeezed it out of existence. And so Aries, you start to do some healing, this could be from a long time ago, and we could just talk about the shift and the change, but Aries, you start to do some healing. Um, maybe you start to see a healer, a counselor, and you start to do what you want, and you disregard what this person needs and wants. Like, you're no longer, like, satisfying the hunger of this energy, and you start to do what you want, and you start to follow the promptings of spirit, and they start to see you doing that. And then they kind of get more needy, more hoarding. They want to offer apologies. They want to offer new beginnings. Maybe they um, shower you with more money, offer you more stability. All they want is stability with you. All they want is marriage with you. They perceive you as something stable, but you go inside. I think you still love them though, but you offer them a true cup of love. For some of you, I swear you're leaving one wacky situation and you're moving into a new one and you break this person's heart, they gotta learn to love themselves. I mean, it's like they put all the stakes onto you and onto this relationship, and without it, they don't know who they are. And I think you fell in this trance as well. But something came, and it's like, of course, a tower came, right? You shifted and you changed. Start to take control. Like you realize that you're the emperor of your own kingdom. You do not need this energy in order to run your kingdom. You're getting to know yourself on a deeper level. You're getting to know this relationship on a deeper level. You start to do some healing. But you do see them as a soulmate. You got the six of cups. Nostalgia. They Or they return. 
it's like there's some kind of you going inside, finding your inner light. For some of you guys, literally, you're married to this person and you guys are learning, you're starting to learn some spiritual truths. You're starting to unravel and get to know yourself on a deeper level. And at some point, you got to leave some of the old stuff behind. It makes this person super unstable. They want more stable stability. They want to offer more things. It scares their heart. They feel broken. They need to learn to love themselves. You know? So that they can offer... Like you're starting to find a deeper kind of love or a different direction. You know, like you're like, I can't stay in overindulgence forever, you know. Um, it's a past life relationship. You might have done this many lifetimes with this person. It might feel super comfortable, but you've got this like energy of moving on. But I don't see this person going away. I really don't. I feel like they're nervous. They're a little heartbroken. And and or this karmic cycle on some level. I don't need, let me know if this resonates. But it's like on some level, this energetic dance isn't over. You might call in another energy that will continue to help you see um, ways in which you've controlled other people or kept things under control and and how that's limited you um it's like maybe things work out for you really easily and you're able to self-indulge in certain situations but then it just starts to get stuck and uninspiring and you want to move on and be inspired you also want to learn more about yourself i don't know this is a really weird read Weird. Um, they want success with you. They believe in you. They 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 also want that connection that you're starting to get. I kind of sense like feeling left out, feeling really threatened that you're going on a new direction. You know, it's like kind of breaking their heart. If you're leaving this person, it's really breaking their heart because you're like shining. You're speaking your truth. You might have some un like un talents that you're uncovering you're learning to love yourself more and more and just focus on that focus on what you want you start yeah there's a lot of creative energy you might be doing like a new career um some of you might have found a new love you know um maybe a soulmate from the past is coming in and breaking up this marriage that was codependent there's a lot of different things because your energy areas is like you're really snug in this kind of controlled environment, very indulgent, and you start to face some of your insecurities, some of your some of your mysteries. Um, you start to move into your heart space a bit more. You start to yearn for your heart and for. What else is out there for you besides the go around? So there is this energy of you going inside and then finding love on a deeper level. And so I do feel like some of you guys, it's a new person. And for others of you, it's like this rekindling when this person figures out how to love themselves. This is in, they want to, they want to secure. They want to secure this. This is what they know. They want to secure it. Whew. What does that mean, right? Like, it's like, they want to secure, they want you. Deep love, mother's milk, birth is a portal. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. This person has like so much like, love for you or obsession for you or so much attachment to you. Like, I'm even getting, like, they're overly attached to you. Like, you're their mom, like a parent. They feel lost without you. But it's time for them to learn to love themselves. They want, they'll, this energy will, and you, this energy will offer anything, like, in the, in the financial realms, whatever it takes to, like, seal the deal with you. Like, any tactic that they can find. Some of you guys, if this person has money, um, 
for others of you, maybe they, they see you as their financial stability. But I think a lot of, like, whatever they can do to, like, seal the deal here, they would. But you're not going for it. You're doing your own thing. You have your own wealth. Um, you don't need to control this person and what they're doing. You kind of release them from that responsibility and they feel very lost, um, heartbroken, but they, they, they do start to search for this love within themselves. So there is like a rebirth going on, letting go of the attachment of the mother, father, parent. I feel like you started to do this work as well. And, you know, I, it's just, there's very much an opportunity for this to come together for you guys again. Um, or an opportunity for you to get a little bit of this energy of like, you're going to manifest, if it's not this person, you're going to manifest another person that presents these same kind of issues and where you can yield your power and what you know about love and what you know about yourself and kind of, kind of offer love to this this person in a different kind of way, right? Like, Aries, I feel like you're learning to love without getting anything other than just loving. And you're learning to free yourself from any kind of entanglement and manipulation in relationships. So I feel like you get an opportunity to work on this again with this person or another person. Um, I see a lot of creative energy coming in for you. A lot of creative energy. A lot of love. Um, and a lot of releasing from this codependent addiction, past life, crazy shit. Um, all right, so let me know if that resonates. That's different. Um, I do give readings. My information is in the description box down below and sending you a lot of love, Aries. You know, um, if this didn't apply to you, like go ahead and check out the other placements, the sun, moon, rising, and Venus all work for the different signs. And also like maybe you know some Aries that have been going through this because this is like definitely specific. All right, so with that, I'll let you go.